There's no referee, so the spirit of sportsmanship is used to maintain fair play in Ultimate Frisbee, a game with more than 50 years history. It's picking up popularity in Shanghai as some expat players are teaching the younger generation to enjoy the sport and to understand the spirit behind it. Chen Tingjie has more for this edition of Expat Extra. An alligator! Yeah. Throw it and catch, or pick it up, then pass it to teammates. This is basically what ultimate frisbee is all about for young kids. Though without complicated rules and looking a little bit like American football, an American expat who has been playing the ultimate for more than 13 years and coaching for almost a decade thinks the sport can make every kid special. Oh no! It's such a team sport. You physically cannot take the ball all the way down the field to score a goal. There's a space for everybody on a team. Every kid. Is going to be able to do something, and every kid can pick up a skill of how to throw a frisbee, how to catch a frisbee, how to work with a teammate. Pancake. A key rule of ultimate frisbee is players must pass the disc before moving further. The mindset of teamwork has changed Smith a lot, and what she wants to pass on to the kids. Because when I started, I wasn't always the nicest person, because、um, I would just get so excited and intense, and I would sometimes yell at my teammates. And I got put in my place pretty quickly. It really helped me realize, okay, even though I don't think what I'm doing is wrong, I'm just really passionate. It can be a little offensive to other people, and it really made me understand, like, oh, okay, it's not just about how I see myself. I do need to be aware of how I affect other people. <laughs> and the kids' teammates can include their parents. The frisbee can temper their minds. If she fell and I go to help her stand up, it won't be good. I'm quite willing to play frisbee with her and share the joy. It's also healthy for me. I'm not afraid of getting hurt. After all, we play on the lawn. The ultimate frisbee, which is also played by older students coached by Smith in Shanghai's American School, is a more fierce game. But the same mindset of teamwork brings respect to both the teammates and opponents. Just like every other sport, it is dangerous. There are some dangers, but that's the whole that's the whole point of playing sports. You want to take risks, but with especially this one, if something ever happens, it's nothing bad happens. Everyone's there for you. Smith says respecting others is the rule of thumb to survive the frisbee community around the world. I lived in Venezuela for two years, and I've lived in different places in the U.S. And everywhere I go, I play frisbee, and it's an instant network. Now, expats are also trying to expand the community to players in local universities like Fudan and Tongji. Though with less than a thousand people playing regularly in Shanghai, Smith expects more younger people can join the teams this year. Chen Tingjie, Shanghai Live.